Chapter 2 in Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. This is the macro level review of perilous pastures, which really aren't very perilous. They are pastures, though, filled with sheep to annihilate, as well as gold to collect so that you can upgrade your Skylanders. This is a good intro level to play over and over again until you've got your figures built up to where they can tackle some of the later, more challenging levels. I'm starting off by playing as Sunburn, who comes with the Dragon's Peak Adventure set. But you'll want a tech element Skylander like a Drobot or Trigger Happy to open this first gate and collect heaps of gold. Don't forget to shoot some sheep while you're in here. Like the first couple levels in the game, this one is bright, colorful, happy, and upbeat. The mood changes as you play through the game, and levels become darker. I actually prefer these brighter ones. They just represent the fun of Skylanders. As you see, my Sunburn figure is level 1 here. By the time I reviewed the Sunburn figure, he was level 10. So clearly this is a nice level to gain some early experience and collect that gold to buy upgrades. There's not too much opposition in here, just a couple of these pods and chompies and things to defeat. We'll wander about and then cut back to the main part of the game where we're going to discover some heroic treasure. Always remember to look behind everything in Skylanders because there's always gold lurking somewhere. And it regenerates each time you play the level. Regenerating gold, hook me up with that. The big thing with this level is to make sure that you explore everywhere. Hit all those bounce pads. And I've collected the treasure and everything already, so I forget where a lot of that was. But just explore everything in Perilous Pastures. It's very unlikely you're going to get damaged in this level. While you're running around, enjoy the scenery. Marvel at those spinning things in the background. What are they doing? What do they drive? Why are they there? Who built them? And how much did they cost? What kind of maintenance do they require? Are they insured? Was that grant money? Government money? Did they tax the Skylanders to pay for them? Questions we hope to be answered in the sequel. Okay, I think we've cleared out this area. I think it's time to get back to the rest of the level. I'll just cut over to the gate. where we'll face very little opposition on our way to find Kali. This is probably pretty self-evident, but you want to push the turtles in the direction of the arrow and then walk over them. Okay, we'll cut ahead here after you make it through that second gate with the key. You'll end up here, which is kind of neat. Blow up that pod and all of the stuff around here. Then push the turtle out of the way. Collect all of the gold and gems laying behind this wall. And make sure to destroy whatever enemies come at you. Once you've collected the key, which is on the left of the wall, we'll go through the next gate. And this is where you'll want to pay attention. You may require a life element Skylander here if you'd like to find the heroic treasure. This won't work with anything else. A life element Skylander will do this, otherwise just continue on the path and it's pretty self-explanatory. There's a water area that you really can't miss and another sequence where you push a turtle. But this is the part that's tricky to find. And once you do, you'll probably never need to go here again, but now you know how to get here. The designers have hidden things like this throughout the game. Music 
the legendary treasure. I think I called it heroic treasure earlier, but it's not heroic, it's legendary. Big difference. Then the gates open, you hop in the cannon, blow the locks off the door, save Callie, and... Move on to the next level. This has been Perilous Pastures, a fun, bright, colorful level with some tricky, legendary treasure to find. Unbelievable!